everyone, and welcome back to the Pache Pene channel. Today, we have a very special guest with us, Shana Jones. Shana is the Campaign Nonviolence Action Week organizer and an educator in nonviolence. She was the program assistant for the Peace Exchange in Chicago, and she is also a singer. Shana, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie, for having me. Of course. Thanks for being here. No problem. Um, Shana, you've done so much great work for the Peace Exchange in Chicago, and you've trained over a thousand young people in nonviolent skills. That's amazing. So I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about that. So, you know, what's awesome about um, the trainings that we did with the Peace Exchange is it actually started um, outside of the United States. So we went and we traveled around the world learning different peace techniques from um, different peace leaders. And one of the lessons that we ended up bringing into the United States and teaching to the Chicago Public School District is called nonviolent communication. And that the bare bones of that actually comes from a, um, a peace leader in India that we learned um, this technique from or this kind of, it's a way of nonviolent communication. And it's a way to kind of com communicate if there's any type of conflict or even if you're just trying to get over a small issue with your parents, it's just a really cool technique to use. So it actually comes from India and it's a four-step process. And uh, what I did is actually adapted it to um, be taught to fourth through eighth graders. So the Peace Exchange mostly like taught fourth through eighth graders, but what we did is we taught it through a drawing. And so it had like four parts, but it had like four body parts so they could remember. So the first step was like um, to observe and see and like, take the situation for exactly what it is. Don't add to it. So we drew a head and had eyes. Then the next step was a heart. Express how you feel. How did it make you feel? Use actual emotions like sad, happy, and make sure you just speak from your point of view. And then like the next thing was a stomach, like a circle. And it meant needs. Like we have to make sure we all get our needs met. So express what need you need. Well, what need you have in this type of uh, conflict or whatever the problem is. And the fourth step uh, was legs, like you know, the action step, then ask someone to help you meet that need or ask what they can do to, um, or let them know what they can do to help you out. So that was like the main uh, core lesson that we taught to the youth. And again, like you said, it's been like all around Chicago, we were able to te teach youth and it was actually pretty cool because um, they would write to us afterwards like oh my gosh that really helped or I was able to talk to my mom about this or I had a student that was bullying me and I let them know what was going on and when I actually talked to them it worked and they stopped messing with me and things so it really helped at that lower level but I feel like that was also a very important level because um, a lot of times when we don't get this training and like this peaceful uh, peace resolution type of training at a young age that's when we grow up and kind of like get stuck in our own ways. And like, it's like not too late, but it's harder to instill when you like get into high school and adulthood. So I feel like that childhood age was like the key point to like, you know, make sure children are kind of receiving a new way to um, combat conflict. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> Both <laughs> of my parents are teachers. So I, awesome. I think these are amazing tools. Mm -hmm. um, and an event that I know a lot of us at Pache Bene are really excited about is the For Goodness Sake event, our music yes. festival. Uh, it's happening later this summer, August. Um, you can find it on our website, anybody who's watching. I was really happy to see that you're gonna be singing. Um, yes. Can you share with us about how music can aid in nonviolence movements? So, I like to say that music is a powerful tool. Um, if you just think about it, if you just listen to any song on the radio, like if you're feeling sad, you can listen to a happy song and it literally changes your, uh, your countenance. It, it changes your spirit. It changes your feelings. So music itself is just powerful because a tune can literally change everything about you and, and your whole situation. Um, so for me, I feel like music is a powerful tool in peace because just like how there's um, negative tunes and like, you know, a lot of violent tunes that come out a lot of times that affects the youth and kind of like trains them to, hey, like, this is how I should act. Well, the same thing can happen on the flip side with peaceful music and putting out positive words that can literally change, transform the atmosphere and also like uplift people's character, uplift people's mind and also give them a new way to think. So for me, I think music is a powerful tool because one, 
we also can connect. We all connect with music. I don't think there's anyone that's just like, I can't stand any type of music. Like it's just so many different types of music that like, you know, it has to resonate with everyone. And then on top of that, like I said, the power of the words and the beat, it's like, it's catchy. You know, I don't know if you had like any, like a commercial jingle sometimes it gets stuck in your head. And it's literally like, like it could be so basic and not even have like real words and stuff, but that's just the power of music. It can get stuck in your head. And that's why it's important too what you put out in your music, because that's something that can like, you know, resonate with people and just change their atmosphere for good or negatively if you choose the wrong way, so. Well, I know we all can't wait to see you sing. Thank you so <laughs> yes. much. Um, and my last question is, what does nonviolence mean to you? So for me, nonviolence is um, lack of chaos. It means also order, but also what it means to me is loving yourself enough and taking care of yourself enough so that you don't emit negativity and violence into the atmosphere and the people around you. So for me, nonviolence is learning to love yourself and be peaceful with yourself first so that you can also give that same feelings and peace to the people around you. So lack of chaos and caring for yourself, loving yourself so you can give that love out instead of giving negative and violence into the atmosphere. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Shana. We love having you on the Pache Bene team. Thank you so much. Yes, and I do want to say too, um, for oh, the yes. uh, nonviolent communication um, piece that I was talking about, there's yeah. actually a recorded video um, that I can, uh, I'm sure you can put the link in, under the video, yes. but I can send that to you. And it's like a 15 minute, it's like the whole lesson that we recorded like professionally oh. and like uh, you can show it to children or even adults can yeah. learn from it and stuff. So I would love to like, uh, let be able nice. people to be able to like, Look at that oh, and share yes. with them. viewers, look down in the description. I'll put <laughs> it down there. Also, yes. one thing I forgot really fast, but could you tell us a little bit about how people can get involved in Action Week coming up since you're the Action Week organizer? Absolutely. So if I haven't already called you or emailed you, which I've done a lot of that already, um, I well, first you can check your email if you haven't answered the email first, and it would be under Shana Jones at pachebene.org. Or you can also go on the Pache Bene website, which I'm sure will be linked under as well. And you can sign up for Action Week through there as well. Um, we really would love for you to be a part of it. It's, it's just a powerful movement where everyone can come together and just bring peace to the people around them. Because again, the lack of peace is chaos and like nobody wants to live in a chaotic world. So let's help each other just add a little bit more peace into each other's lives. So please sign up for Action Week through the website or answer your, uh, I said answer your email, but <laughs> reply to the email, um, make sure I'm not on spam and all of that good stuff. I'll also still be sending out emails and calls as well. So just make sure you get those actions in. Yes, everybody. We're so excited to have you for Action Week. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Shana. I loved you. interviewing you today. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you so much, Rosie. Of Thank course. you.